standing before the paintings in this exhibition, it's very clear that these are artists who have kept their cultures extraordinarily strong and they've kept their cultures extraordinarily vibrant. And the change that's evidenced in these paintings is not a change um, that represents them selling out. Even though these works you know, are very clearly tailored for the market, what these works are doing is they're drawing on all of their tradition and they're trying to present it cross-culturally. And it's really um, because they're trying to present something that they believe to be inherently true and that they hold inherently um, as a part of them. And they're trying to present that cross-culturally. That's really able to maintain all of that strength of, of their traditional cultures. And, you know, in an odd way, some people say, well, you know, they start painting, then things sell out, then it becomes, you know, touristy. We hear that criticism a lot. And I think it's very hard to look at these paintings and think that that's the case, because what we have here are aesthetic statements of just the most profound um, uh, conviction and inspiration. So what I think uh, has paradoxically happened in Australia uh, is that, in an odd way, painting um, has has provided a mechanism to keep culture strong. It's actually provided a way for people in remote communities to add value to their culture, to, um, to find ways to make their culture valuable to the outside world. And so that's what we're seeing in these paintings. We're seeing men who have kept their culture so strong, so alive, so vibrant. And you know, the most vibrant cultures are those cultures that continually adapt, that continually transform themselves to the present. Um, a culture that's static is a culture that dies. And so um, I think as well that's um, why it's very hard for people to rec reconcile this kind of work with, um, with primitivism, because there's nothing primitive about these canvases. These canvases are, are pure expressions of the present, but it's a present that for these men is informed by um, a, a culture very different to our own.